Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of The Fintech Fix. Like Jimmy Carr's new comedy panel show, but replace the comedy with fintech and the panel with me, Doug McKenzie, and you get the idea. We'll be discussing all the latest news and trends in the financial tech industry at the same time every week. So, first up in the fintech sphere is the news that on the 8th of January, the day with the most divorces being filed, Brits are still more likely to get divorced than to change their bank. Matt Ford, the product director at Tandem Bank, broke it down as changing banking provider has got so much easier in the last year. People still assume there are major barriers. There are so many myths out there that are discouraging people. It's a real shame because with a simple switch, you can see real benefits in your life with money. The move to mobile apps becoming commonplace seems to have had a massive impact on the younger generation, with rapid onboarding processes even supplanting online banking. Now, speaking of divorce, Amazon has made the news thrice this week. Whilst becoming the world's most valuable public company, research commissioned by Pepper found that two-thirds, 66% of financial decision makers, feel that technology giants such as Google and Amazon will offer retail banking services in five years in the UK. Now, Pepper, the 100% mobile bank created by Bank Leumi, also noticed that the view was mirrored by consumers, but only 29% believe that they will take over the retail and digital banks. Let us know in the comments what you think. Will the tech giants become fully-fledged financial institutions? And could they even take over these retail banks? Now, speaking of large banks, N26 has announced a $300 million Series D funding round to become Europe's number one fintech. The German bank being valued at $2.7 billion. The $300 million funding represents the largest private equity financing round for a fintech company in Europe in recent years. And to date, N26 has raised more than $500 million from the world's most established investors, including Tencent and Allianz X. Next week, Fintech Finance, we will have our first episode of the year. The episode features interviews from David Germain, Chief Technology Officer at RSA, who tells us where he sees the future of the insurance industry heading and also Ingo Weber, CEO of DIG, who breaks down the largest challenges that are currently being faced by consumers in the insurance industry and how they are finally resolving them. That's it for this week's FinTech Fix, and thanks for watching. Catch you next time.